Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an AIS travel eSIM on your new iPhone 11, XR, XS, or any of the new dual eSIM smartphones on the market today. First thing we want to do is look at the AIS sim to fly product. So the AIS sim to fly was originally designed for Thai travelers going abroad throughout Asia and the world. It comes in two different packages. One is the Asia package, which you can see here, and the other is the global package. So these can be bought anywhere in Thailand at any AIS shop. They retail for a price of 399 baht. Recently they've gone up, but they started with five gigabytes for eight days. Then they went to six gigabytes for eight days. And now the domestic version is doing six gigabyte for 10 days in any one of their Asian supported countries. Additionally, if you buy one of these elsewhere and you want to use it in Thailand, they are giving 500 megabytes in Thailand, which is just enough for a couple days, but mainly these are designed for the 21 countries in Asia uh, that is supported. So if we look inside the traditional packaging, you're gonna see the tri-cut SIM card and you can pop these in any phone and start up with the, the package. So the AIS sim to fly is a prepaid reloadable SIM card. This means that after the original package is finished, you can add credit to it and subscribe to additional data packages. Now they basically offer two types of data packages, an Asian package and a global package. So if you'd like to continue to use the sim to fly after the first package is complete, what you need to do is you need to load up an additional amount of credit and then subscribe to whichever package, the global or the Asian package uh, that you'd want to continue with. And you can keep doing this for as long as the SIM card is valid and then just load the credit up right before your trip and subscribe to the data package for the country that you'll be going to. The process for reloading and subscribing to a new package is quite simple. What you'll need is you'll need the phone number which is listed here, or if you don't have the packaging anymore, you can simply dial star 545 hash and press send. That'll pull up a dialog box which will show your SIM's phone number. You take that phone number, you can take it to any of the online recharge websites, or you can go into the AIS app if that works for you. After you've loaded the credit, you can now use a USSD code to subscribe to the package of your choosing. I'll put a link to all the packages in the show notes and I'll show it up here on the screen. So let's say you wanna choose the two day, one gigabyte Asian package. So you just need to make sure you've loaded the appropriate amount of credit for the cost of the package and then just enter the USSD code. So now let's look at the eSIM side of how to get the sim to fly sim So the first thing you need to do is acquire a sim to fly QR code. Now, if you do it from an AIS shop, you're going to get a printout that looks something like this with a piece of paper and a, and a QR code. If you do it online, you might get something similar. Uh, but the payload for the information you need is going to be in the form of a QR code. So I have here a iPhone 11. So what I've done is I've taken a photo on another device just to give an example. So let's, uh, let's start with going to settings. In settings, we're going to go to cellular and then here we'll see add cellular plan. So this refers to the ability to add a data plan. Now I noticed that in addition to going this route, there's also the ability to use the QR code scanner and this will work as well if we hold the QR code over here. It'll basically pop up a little, little message and it'll let you go and install Cellular Plan. But let's just go the original route here and we will do it the old fashioned way. So let's click on Add Cellular Plan. Here we get a camera and basically what this allows us to do is scan any QR code now, the details contained in the QR code are, are basically shown right here. So what we have here is a address, which is kind of like a URL. Then we have a one-time activation code. 
and then some sims will for extra security issue a additional code so if for some reason you didn't have a qr code in only the data it is possible to manually enter it but this makes it a whole lot easy so let's get started on adding that okay it's recognized Okay, took a little while. Now you do have to be connected to the internet in some way, shape or form in order to add this. The reason why is, as I showed you, there is a connection that happens to a server to verify the eSIM data. So you do have to have an internet connection. This can't be done without any kind of Wi-Fi or any kind of internet connection at all. Once it's read the data, basically allows me to add the plan. So let's just click on add cellular plan. You see here it's activating. Now I have only this eSIM in the device, so there is only the primary option. Default settings changed. Now the eSIM does come with a phone number, so it can be used to receive and make calls. That's not the primary use for the SIM to fly, but because it does come with a Thai phone number, it can be used for that reason. So let's take a look at the secondary. So we do, we can change the label. And so one interesting thing about at least the iPhones is I've read they can have up to, one source says 10 different SIM profiles. So here you might wanna start uh, keeping track of your, your SIM profiles and giving them uh, their own labels. So I'm gonna call this the AIS SIM to fly. And there now we have the correct label, okay? So now let's just take a look at the information up here and it is showing the single AIS SIM. Now, because of my location, this package will not activate at the moment. You have to be in a supported country for it to get started. So let's say you have an Asian package SIM to fly SIM and you are in the US or Europe, you can add the SIM just like I've done right now and the SIM will not start until you land in the destination country. You do have 60 days from when you add the SIM to when you have to first use it. If you don't use it within that 60 day time period, it will expire and you would have to buy a new one. So you do have to plan accordingly, but because this is all digital, you can really just order this up the, the day before your trip. We now have a active roaming SIM and ready to go in any one of the 20 countries that are listed. One other thing a lot of you guys will probably want to do is change the language to English. So that is star 119 star 2 hash. So let's give that a try right now. Okay, we got an English language message. You'll also get a confirmation SMS that your request is done. So now that we've been able to change the language to English, let's do our remaining balance check. So that is star 111 star 6 hash. Send. And this time we'll get an SMS notification. There it is. So we get two SMSs. One tells us about our usage and the other one says we basically have unused data. The other code we can do, star one, two, one, hash, and this should tell us a little bit about our balance and our validity. So. Sim to fly ships with zero balance, which makes sense because basically what you get is a ready to use package, but there is zero calling credits. And so that's why the balance is zero. So if you do want to make calls or even receive calls, you will have to add some credit. Now, most people are doing calls through, through the internet, so they really don't need this. But if you do want to receive SMSs and calls, you will have to add some credit. The other thing to check here is your Validity date, if I don't use this SIM at all, this SIM will expire and not be usable anymore after February 22nd, 2020. If I wanted to extend this, I can 
add any amount of credit, but the smallest amount, the better. So I could go online and say, add 20 bot credit, and that would give me one month. And if I did that several times, I could extend this all the way out to 2021, giving me one year in which to keep the SIM profile here on the iPhone. So that's it guys, hope that was useful. And I hope you can save a few bucks on one of the cheapest Asian roaming SIMs around. Any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll do my best to answer.